Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4 Part 105. So going back to Audi, we gotta get a normie car for this, woo. <clears throat> Good thing I have a lot of credits saved up because I'm definitely gonna get robbed pretty hard doing all these one make races. Europe will do that to you. Uh, I guess we'll go red because I don't know. No particular reason. Cha-ching. Rip my bank account. Kind of. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to these and I'll throw them on if the competition's too easy, but other than that, I'm not doing any upgrades because I made that mistake last time. So, three short races once again, thankfully. And going to Suzuka East. Go figure, it's always East with the freaking S's. Big re. Y'all to turn off the AIDS. ka -chow. Look, it's guy who makes good GT4 videos. Aww. I'm flattered. Well, solid 60A spec points, so... Judging by how bad the AI is on this game, it should be a piece of cake. As long as I don't get wrecked right off the bat. Not funny noises, because, like, same frequency next to each other. Oh, I forgot, this isn't the full track. I gotta set myself up for this corner better. How many cars are the best part in every Grand Trail for me? Well... I mean, they're fun to drive every now and then, as long as it's a cool normie car, but at that point, if it's cool, is it still a normie car? Okay, just understeering straight off the track. Mostly my fault, didn't slow down enough. Yeah, the AI are a true dumpster fire at El Capitan. By far the easiest race to get 200 day spec points in anything. Or, well, easiest track, I should say, not race. That was pretty solid, not gonna lie. Is a Civic a normie car? If definitely not the Type R, but the SI is debatable, I guess. But as far as like base models go, of course they are. And that goes for all generations. Looks like I'm going to throw on the uh, standard tires because this is just way too easy. Can't imagine how much of a pain it is to try to get uh, like as many A spec points as possible on races like this. I was about to say 200 A spec points for 
every race, but technically that's impossible with certain one-make races like the Midget Race, and I'm pretty sure the Copen Race is the same thing. Stuff like that. You just can't get your car slow enough to bring the A-Spec points up high. So up next, midfield for two laps. whoop de doo I thought it was a kid. I thought it was... Oh, wait, I already read that. Is there any Grand Trisville game with a really hard AI? Uh, I mean, like... Maybe GT3, because, like, sometimes they'll be tuned and the rubber banding was pretty ridiculous on it, but... They're still pretty sloppy. So here we go, midfield. Yeah, forgot to change the tires now that I think about it. Oh no. Anyway, moment. Let me just money shift it right here. Wait, that's not money shifting, it's just cheese shifting. Insta shift, kind of. Also cut the corner. Okay, that was the AI just pushing me off track. Where's your penalty, boy? Ow. As you can tell, on this game, the AI are complete bullies. You pretty much don't exist to them. I can really rev this thing out pretty good. See how much I can actually bring it up. 7,500. Solid. AI Puffy is a cheater, no discussion. In some ways, yes. For example, they ram you on special condition events, they don't get a penalty for it, but you freaking tickle their rear end and, oh, five second penalty. Good afternoon, Fowser. If that's how you say it, probably. Probably not. Don't know. In my case, probably not. Because that's just my luck. Even though you can rev this out, I don't think the car really likes it. It loses a lot of power past the red line. But there we go. Another adrenaline-filled, exciting race. Totally. Woo. It's a good gaming PC to start with for PS2 games. I mean, as long as you're not playing Gran Turismo 4, you don't need much. Well, same thing with... Gran Turismo 3, but I don't know. It's stuff and things. I just refer to like PCSX2's website for that information because I'm not a hardware expert. I'm not going to pretend to be one. And uh, I'd rather not give advice on things I know nothing about. So here we go. Laguna Seca for two more laps to get rid of this really really boring event a lot of these one makes are going to be boring let's just 
we'll leave it at that. Finally equipping the standard tires, so... See how much the A-spec points get brought up for that. Up to 89 now, solid. Here we go, attempt number two. Wasn't really expecting that just from a simple tire change, but hey. After all, tires are the only thing connecting the road to the car. It's not that important or anything. Also, I should stop trying to insta-shift like that. I don't need to. Motorsport at least was in the race. Alright, that's pretty good then. Stop getting on the throttle halfway through the corner! It's a bad habit, and I keep doing it. And that was just awful as well. And lost my momentum, thanks to this car. Oh, he's starting to pull on me. He had more torque after he shifted, that's why. Whereas, like, I was staying in the... past the red line where the power band just kind of dies. Cheese my way around Silver Boy. Good thing uh, that wasn't the last lap. It would have just been a repeat of the last attempt. Deja vu. No, not referencing Anime Weeb song. I just wanted to say the word deja vu. All the cool shit's becoming an anime reference now. Ugh. Oh, come on. Don't lose it. I stuffed it. Yikes. Be like that. Just power straight through the corkscrew. Power. Speed and power. Alright, well, massive difference compared to the previous attempt. Finishing by several seconds. Yay. Massive excitement. And to think we're only halfway done with the game. What have I gotten myself into? So after being completely robbed by Audi with these really short one make events, time for our second prize car. I wonder if it's another Audi. 
Looky there. Another Audi. Now I can pick up the kids from soccer practice faster. Also, my god, those textures. Those, uh... They really stand out on this car in particular. Yikes. And door handles, though. So, like always, acquired date, Pikes Peak Quattro. Freaking land yacht. I wonder if this was a concept for Europe with their cramped towns and tiny roads. Imagine trying to drive this thing through Italy. Anyway, stay tuned for more Gran Turismo 4.